What is good friends? We are here with us. P2 versus Ray Scarface, a match that doesn't really matter, but I still want to record it. And we see um, some Pinsa plus Magnus are an interesting team. I was actually talking with people in call about um, Magnus on plus Tapu Bulu. So, like, Bandit Tapu Bulu is like good versus Stall. So, you get rid of the Skamri. So, paired with the Magnus and then, like, um, knock off Magnus when or knock off Pinsa, something that gets rid of the Shed Shell on the opposing Skarm so you can trap it with Magnus on. And then, Tapu Bulu or Pinsa just get run through the posing stall team so yeah but race guys doesn't have stall so let's not talk about this anymore just giving you guys some some of my thoughts so mega marwal um i would say balance with um i've used a team like this in in ours or in x yeah, in ours healing wish early was it early hours or was it late xy i think it was late xy when more was allowed i think it was xy more was not allowed in ours right so it was healing wish Ladi, um so to bring more back when it gets weakened so he has um, Rocks Lando or Rocks Mobile. I think it's Rocks uh, Lando. It could be Zemo of Celestial. I would autonomize. Greninja is probably Protein and um, Toxapex. Would it be Mixed Defensive or Mixed Def? I think it's Mixed Defensive. To kind of have a check to stuff like Gengar, which ma would make sense to me. Scarf Gengar looking kind of annoying to raise Scarf's team if it's not if it's offensive Celestia stealer that is if it's Bedev stealer that can switch into I guess so I could see uh, Scarf Lari from P 2s side Mega Pinsir obviously Slowbro is interesting I haven't seen many Slowbros and and Sun Moon Slowbro might become better when uh, Faramosa gets banned and when if Greninja gets uh, suspect tested later on Slowbro might actually become good again. But yeah, we'll see how the meta evolves. Um, I think you just go into Toxapex or um, Celestila if you raise Scarface. Yeah, he just goes Toxapex. Then then he goes for T-Wave. I think this could be Scarf T-Wave. I've seen area use a team pretty similar to P2s, which had Scarf T-Wave Lottie, I think. It also had a Pinsa and a Mammo, if I recall correctly. And I, had, I think also had a Magnezone. But it had a Toxapex over Slowbro, and I don't know what it had over the Pharaoh. So it gets in the Magnus Zone, the Pex doesn't get paralyzed, so Ray Scarface gets up a T-Spike. Yeah, if that was a Toxapex um, instead of a Slowbro, he could just get rid of the T-Spike. Um, but yeah, he can potentially, he probably has Defog on his uh, Scarf Lottie, because he needs the Defog support for his Mega Pinsir. But yeah, I don't like um, being choice luck with Defog. So he could go flash can here, breaking the landers. We will see what happens. He just goes for substitute. So this could be this could be Z move magnetism, but substitute actually, because we don't see leftovers. Yeah, Blunder said this is like an ass version of ABR's team, which was also terrible. That was the ABR team that I was talking about like a minute ago. But I didn't say that's ass. I just read out what he said. I'm not trying to talk shit uh, about a ABR god. <laughs> so yeah we see probably flash can or maybe cox will crash that would be fire i guess it could be nah i think abr had z gigavolt havoc so z2 bolt i mean subbing there makes some sense to ease the prediction like you see what he brings in and you can go for flash can but yeah that doesn't even do it KO, so I think um, Wraith Garfish will just go for Roxy. We see it's left over Landris, which is interesting. I actually like lefties Landris sometimes better than Helmet. Like for some people, Helmet is just like the only item to run on defense of Landris, it's just become a staple. So yeah, this, um... Ray Scarface is 9 and 0 so far. His team is already out of playoffs. This game doesn't matter. But yeah. Still want to see if he can stay undefeated, like I said in an earlier video. I didn't say that yet in this one. Yeah, I think he's rocking it, so. P2 can like, go to Ferrothorn anyway, yeah. Oh, he has Protect Landers, which is. That's a weird set. Why did he. Why did he protect there? 
Maybe flash cam was a roll and didn't want to risk a roll. Not really sure. But yeah. So he gets up the rocks the next turn, the turn at um the exchange rocks. And he goes for protect again to get more leftovers. I didn't understand why he went protect the turn before, but hmm. I mean yeah, just to get health on his land or get it, but it was kinda obvious in my opinion that the magnetism wouldn't stay in. But yeah, in case the magnetism stayed in and it might have been a roll. I guess it makes sense. So I think we just see leeches here, yeah, and the uh, Lari could have this could have trick, could be scar of Ladias. Which is always nice so that you ensure to get off the healing wish. Um Man said good thing I'm Oka as per usual. Oka is like the fire with this berry, right? So is he like talking about it? Because it's PHP fire Lari. I mean there's just this, I think this is just a joke. Like I don't even know if uh, Ladia has space to run HP fire because he went Draco and Psychic or Psyshock and you went Tifa and you went Healing Wish, right? Actually, I don't know if you went Tifa on this team, but you went Healing Wish and then you could run Trick or yeah, yeah, Trick, exactly. Nice. Finally, uh, thankfully, I called that right before one th a few seconds before it happened, or one thing before it happened, which is actually nice. Um, yeah, Shed Shell Ferrothorn is interesting. So he has a Scar Ferrothorn now, and the Lottie gets a Shed Shell. So he, that's to be, yeah, so you don't get trapped by Magnezone, which is, um... Um, I like this. For, like, Choice Locked Ferrothorns, I actually like, um, Choice Locked Magnezones, I like this a lot. Because, like, you bring in, they bring in the Magnezone, if they're Choice Locked. Let's say they're Spags, they go for HP Fire, try to kill your Fairy, you just go Hard Slowbro or Hard Lottie on the HP Fire. Um, the only reason uh, I feel like the Ferrothorn is one of those months. If you have protect leftovers and leech seed, you can get um, you can get it really healthy. Like even if you had like twenty percent, you can get it really healthy if you get a leech seed off um, and just keep bringing it in on double switches. You can get it, get it from twenty percent back healthy to eighty percent. Ferrothorn is one of these annoying months. It's kind of like Celestia. That like that really appreciate having leftovers for that passive recovery. It's also kind of like Heatran. But yeah, Heatran doesn't have Leech Seed, so first one has some sort of recovery, I guess. But Heatran is also one of these months that can get it back healthy with leftovers. Just because it like resists a lot of stuff and like Tox stuff like Toxapex is so weak, so Scar from Toxapex doesn't even do damage to Heatran. I mean yeah. That Leech Seed misses a bit annoying, but we'll see. But is it even got into heal Daddy, I guess? Or Magnezon? Because I don't think he wants to go slow and get poisoned. So yeah, I think Melody and Magnuson are the only plays, basically. Where Scarfus can just um, fire off Skulls, or um, he can even make a double switch here. Because he knows this is... Yeah, he can make a double switch, because he knows this is locked into Leech Sheet, so there's like no risk. So yeah, P2 just stays in, but risk. I can't understand where Scarface play. Um, maybe he had low kick on this if he predicted the magnet zone. Or uh, maybe he just knew HP fire would kill the magnet zone um, after rocks. The magnet zone would have been at 70 ish. So yeah, I guess that could kill because we already know it's not a soft as magnet zone. We already see, uh, saw that it's a substitute and probably Z move because yeah, that makes the most sense because I don't know what else would be the Z move more. Because I don't think it's Giga Vol's Lottie on this team. I mean, speed control for Scarf makes the most sense, like I said earlier. P2's team kind of looks like RS. What? Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, it completely. Like, I mean, this type of combination, this combination of mods is not really used in RS, but like, I just realized that he has no Sun and Moon mod. I didn't even pay attention to that. Where Scarvis had like has like two new mons and then he has like the mons that were banned in Auras, which is like Greninja and Mawal. So it looks like more like a Sun and Moon team. So he gets the Slowbro poison here and he gets Dark Pulse and this Ash Greninja and the Slowbro just dies and he gets the Ash form. So I don't really see. Um, I guess that was a good play by Grey Scarfis because going Greninja there knowing the Ferrozone is locked into the sheet. 
Yeah, if he would have gone, if P2 would have gone into um, Magnus Zone, yes, he could have just Hydro Pumped. Not sure if Dark Pulse would have killed. Dark Pulse might even kill uh, if the Magnus Zone doesn't have much bulk. And that's how you go 10 0 easy. <laughs> Okay, the winner of worst played is SPR. <laughs> Goes to B2. I did. What? I mean, what else could he have switched in into there? Like, he didn't really have a switch into Spec Screen Ninja. Like, exactly like this guy says, I think we have seen uh, other plays that have been worse. Like I guess maybe they were talking about the turn before where he stayed in with the. I don't know if he was if they went the turn before or if they went this turn. I, I don't think they went this turn. We went hard into slow, bro. Slow, slow would have been nice in this matchup if um. If there were no teeth backs up and other than the Greninja, the slow kind of walls race guy race team. I mean I don't want to say walls the more wall, but you can take a hit and fish force gold burn. And can annoy the Salo Stealer with potential skull burns, or it can come and boost up. Can annoy the Toxipex with Psy Shock or Psy Geek, um, even though that Toxipex has haze, so like it doesn't really comment up on that. And then it obviously loses to Slowbro, so in general, the Slowbro would have been nice as much, but I don't really see what else you could have switched in, like I said. Like, what? I don't know where they were going, like saying that was the worst play. Toxipex has never lost a game. I mean, there has been a few mirror matches. One, there has been uh, a few mirror matches. And two... So yeah, he's obviously Scarflight. He brings this in here. He's um, pretty much going into uh, Saddle Stealer here. Or I'll, he can go to Mawal. He can even go to Toxipex. Because there's no way you go for a Psychic move. When you have an Ash Greninja in front of you. Uh, he can go for... D P2 can go for Defog, I guess. But that, I don't think that does much. And yeah, I, like P2 just loses this. I don't see how he can win. He can double out, but what does this, what does this even accomplish? Like his first one is choice locked. Like this doesn't do anything. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to talk shit. Like he's just in a, put in a bad position now. Like I'm just saying. So he just gets a lead sheet bag and. Race Garvis fishes for the skull burn that doesn't get it, but Race Garvis can like bring in his Greninja again if he really wants to. Or he can also just um, sell it, bring Cell Steel in. He can also just stay in and keep fishing for burn. Like, not that the Ferrothon does anything to the Toxapex. So yeah, going minus on there is, I guess, a fine play, but he made a. Oh, he made a Lando play. Um, protect Lando with Lefty is actually interesting. What the last move would probably be HPIs. HPS Stonish or U turn, depending on what the team is weak to and this team. Is this team weak to Zardex? Let me see. Now you have a Toxapex and you have a Scarvlady, you have a Greninja and yeah. Potential Sucker Punch and potential you have you have Fox on this to weaken Zard. Um the bike also gets checked by these two kind of. So I think it would be um HPIs because double dance land is a threat besides the besides the sort of stealer. The dance land is always a threat. Not 100% sure. Scissor doesn't seem like a big threat, so I don't think it's HP fire. Because Pax and uh, Sussy is pretty nice versus Scissor. So yeah, he brought the Pharaoh back in on the off quick, but yeah. Race Guy is gonna be 10 or after for sure. Like, I don't see how P2 can win. Going mobile is clean. Uh, Laddie could maybe kill us with HP fire, but I don't even think that will kill him. I don't also don't think Scarf Laddie runs HP fire. I think they run like um, Trick Defog to attack, so maybe they can run T Bolt if they want to try to hit Tapu Fini a bit harder. Uh, Tapu Fini, Skamory, stuff like that. And Celestila. Even though Spada Celestila probably laughs about a T Bolt.
that's funny someone in the chat was talking about that they lost internet on the weekend on SPL sun Saturday or something that happened to me last week that shit was annoying as fuck I missed like 12 games last week or 50 I don't know even more probably so he just oh, brings in the Pharaoh here I'll play rough and that's that was respectable damage I even think that's like a pretty defensive uh, Feral Thorn with 27 Oh my god, Fire Fang. What is Fire Fang for? Like, I know it hits Feather and Scum, but T Punch also hits Scum, and I don't really think. I don't really think your team is that weak to Feather. Um, yeah, but it's really nice for Feral Thorn, I guess. Feral Thorn can be a bit annoying for Race Garvey's team, even though he already got it tricked early on, so that was not a problem this game, but I mean, just in general. Um, Feral Thorn, besides Sadder Steel, probably having a Fire move. Can, I can see Ferrothon being really annoying if, if if you don't get a skull burn off with toxic packs. Cause like I don't know Ash Ninja how much it does with Dark Pulse to um, Ferrothon. I think it does like forty, maybe forty five. I don't know. Specs Ninja is really strong. Like, but yeah, I guess it's firing is just to straight out like destroy Mega Scissor and Ferrothon. What does it hit besides that? The T Punch would. Like what would he, what would T Punch hit instead? T Punch would hit Toxic Packs. I mean, yeah, Ash Ninja pretty much beats Toxic Packs one v one unless Toxic Packs Gold burns. Like, but Toxic Packs has to avoid the flinch. The thing is, Greninja has to become the Ash Form before the Ash Form. Um, Toxic Packs kind of eats it up. Yeah, he has he has a lot to try and trick the Toxic Packs and. He has some ways around opposing toxic packs, I guess. Um, like, so it's still kind of annoying with Leech Sheet. Just doesn't. He doesn't have Heal Ball though, so if Celestia gets burned, that would be annoying. He has heal bush, Healing Wish though. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think. I, I, I don't know, like, in my opinion, maybe T Punch would be nice on this Mormon, but he will have reasons. He will have reasons for as to why he's running this. I see uh, Pichu just defogs to Sagas Lottie here. It's blown away. P did he say enjoy the donation? Enjoy the don enjoy the donate. He said ask where you cork for your gigavolt. Oh yeah, I now I understand why he went for protect or he was scouting for he was corking scouting for corkscrew crash, but yeah, I was I was thinking it was gigavolt havoc because I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I'm actually bad, I'm sorry guys. Um also that's knockoff memo, isn't it? Uh, prep for stall, I see here. It's probably knockoff uh, either on memo or on pencil. Like I said, uh, like I mentioned earlier, that's an option. Man is on trap to scum, and the pencil runs the train. Yeah, my bad, guys. Uh, the guy went for protect earlier with his land was the man is on scouting for Z move, obviously. <laughs> God, I feel bad now that I didn't see that. But, like, I was just, because I saw I used this team and it was Gigavolt Magnazone. I was just kind of, um, like, I was assuming it was Gigavolt 100%, but obviously it's not 100%. It can also be Corkscrew Crash. So, yeah, my bad. Um, Mobile gets 50% of uh, a Mammal Swine and dies to an Earthquake. And Ash Greninja can wrap it up. It probably lives. <laughs> Is it not a 6 though? Oh no, 6 0. Uh, Ash Ranger might even live a quick attack from Pincer since, um, like, every light got nerfed, and quick attack is also not a strong move, even if it's every light boosted stab and all that goodness. It's still only base 40. I don't care if it's stab and all that goodness, and Pincer's a monster. Sex of Pharaoh, and then I guess Pincer might live and might live with Dark Pulse, but I'm not sure. Uh, we will see, we will see now. I don't know the call. Pinsa gets blown away, lives on 2%. So, okay. I mean, that's a lot. Maybe that was a roll. So, he will just go for his 100% accurate move here as Garvey. So, you don't want to go for like each other Fire Blast and Miss. Like, if you have Flamethrower, a Heavy Thrower, a Flashkin, you just go for the accurate move to not give. 
this uh, pinset chance of getting an SD off exactly. Pinset dies and Mammoth Swine cannot beat the rest. Like he even has a land risk that he can stack worst case to get an intimidate off, and after that P2 would have to crit multiple times and also Ladiot speeds memo and I don't think Ice Shot kills that either. But yeah, it was a pretty fun game and I'm glad we didn't see stall because that would have been annoying. Um, especially since this game didn't matter for the outcome, like the series was already decided and the Tigers move on to the uh, SPL Finals. The Circus Maximus Tigers versus the... Any scooters? Yes, the any scooters. Yeah, this man was not live orb, so what is it? Is it... X, no, 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 expert belt is not set. I don't think it's choice. It sh did it switch a move? I don't think it's switched a move yet. It could be choice, but that that's odd. I guess it could be Sage. Not too sure. Yeah, he switched a move. Definitely not choice, yeah. Man said you really did that. I mean, at this point, it didn't matter, but yeah, I guess he kind of got stunned on there. <laughs> He's gonna crit them anyways, doesn't mind intimidate. I mean he has to quit like multiple times. <laughs> now he went for protect. Actually, yeah, Landis might actually lift this. If it's max defense and goes back in the packs. <laughs> yeah. Now he can either have an earthquake and he just uh Oh my god, stop. You could have just stayed in. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Flexed on for no reason. Now Landris even eats this up. I know he didn't just scalp with the toxic bags. Mans is really preserving the 4 oh like what? I guess he, maybe he could have even preserved the 5 or a 6 0. Oh. And now we try to predict the Landris and he goes for Scott. <laughs> and he doesn't get burned though. Watch him go, watch him go back into Landris and watch Ice Crush again. Yes, nice one. Got him. <laughs> Yeah, I guess this is just some fun ending to the to the game. <laughs> He's gonna earthquake here. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. So he brought it down to a three. Oh, I guess that's something for him. His team is in finals anyway. Just that's just some fun for him. <laughs> and yeah, I guess this is nice for his guy. Is to like he has the best record. I think. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think anyone else is ten and one Silent Moon. Or in general, I don't think anyone else is undefeated. Oh, he only has four ice cream crystals left. He says three. Oh, he got a flinch. Oh, yeah, he only has three left, as in. I don't know. I thought he would. Mm. Man's went for a knock of breaking the protect, and now he's going for the flinches. And he's, he only really brought this down a little bit, kind of. Kind of close. Wait, how did the ice cream crystal still do 15? Still do 15. Wait, why did one. I still crush to 27. The next one did 15. What the fuck? GG, good luck in finals. Okay, okay. Yeah, he really went in and out. That's crazy. Yeah, is it Met Metrodon Mammoth Swan? Should you keep using the moves? Um, Get stronger because, like, I really don't understand how it does 27. Because, like, after that 15, when he switched up the moves, so that was that really metronome. That's wild. I, I thought it an NJMP's YouTube and RS. Oh, and Zamrock's YouTube. That was funny. Um, yeah, clean match. I guess we can here update the uh, score so you guys can see it. But it's pretty much uh, already you guys already know the result, right. I think the Raiders one like f went like four and eight. And yeah, it's a three and eight, and with Gavis one, so it's four and eight. And then this other series, it's pretty much um, it was two and seven. I don't know if there was any other game played. I might record Sierra's Jirachi if I get the opportunity to, but I'm not sure since the game also doesn't matter. And my knowledge about black and white is not the best. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. 
Hope you all enjoyed this. Um, I recorded like. <clears throat> Yeah, I recorded like five or six battles today on SPL Sunday, and we're gonna be back next week, hopefully with the finals. And yeah, hopefully my net doesn't die again, is what I'm referring to, because my net died last week, which was annoying as flip. Um, Doc, which I hope you'll enjoy. I'm sunny, I don't know why I'm repeating myself. <laughs> Good God.